Hey guys, in this short video, I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna show you how we tension our lashings with the Caligo fittings, the Caligo dead eyes. So, a few things before we even get started. Caligo Marine recommends on boats over, I think around 30 feet to use turnbuckles to tension their shrouds. Uh, and that's because it's hard to get the amount of pre-tension that you need in the shroud with just lashings alone. Now our boat's 40 foot, um, our mast is like 40, something like 44 feet above the deck or something like that from where it's stepped. Um, so we're definitely over that size that they recommend to only use lashings. And we just wanted to go all out and, and really see what it's all about using just lashings to tension our rig. And we found a solution to be able to get enough pre-tension in, in the shroud and the lashings uh, without using turnbuckles. And I'll show you how we do that. But that's the first caveat. We're a little bigger than what Caligo recommends for lashings alone. Um, it's much easier, it would be much easier to use a turnbuckle to adjust uh, the tension but you have to measure your shroud very precise if you are only using turnbuckles because uh, they only have a little bit of, of throw in there and if you mess up an inch or two, uh, you could get yourself in trouble. You could max out your turnbuckle or you could uh, have it too short. Something to keep in mind and then another a third option when using the Caligo Marine hardware is to use a term, uh, lashings and also a turnbuckle. You have that leeway when you measure your shroud with the lashings and then you can get your lashings tight enough by hand and then you can do the finishing uh, tensioning with the turnbuckle and then if you ever need to adjust, if you ever run out of throw on your turnbuckle you can just loosen it all loosen it all the way back up uh, tighten your lashings again and then you're kind of starting over on your turnbuckle so that's a pretty good option so one of the biggest difference that we found using what Caligo recommends compared to other systems like the Kraken structure dead eyes is that uh, they recommend much shorter lashing length. Um, I believe it's only like 8 to 10 inches I, I thought I saw on their website. I try, I'll try to find that information and link it down below. Uh, but real short length of lashings and then that way and especially because the holes on their fittings are far apart you get this nice hourglass shape once you finish off your lashings. The longer your lashings are the less of that hourglass shape we're going to get because uh, the lashing lines are coming in at a shallower angle. And that's one of the things that they say they kind of depend on finishing off your lashings. Uh, they kind of depend on that hourglass shape, that, that kind of stronger angle to hold the half hitches in place. All right, so what Caligo Marine recommends when you're using lashings alone, which again, they only recommend for boats 30 feet and under, is to maybe use a halyard to get the pretension. So the last lashing, uh, the tail of the lashing is this one. It comes out the bottom. I'll show you here. The tail of the lashing is this one here. It comes out the back and the bottom, um, the inboard side of their fitting. So they recommend taking this lashing and attaching it to a halyard and then you can use a winch to tension that and it'll pull all these lashings tight. And then once you have that set and you kind of have it locked off, then they recommend to go sailing and go on one tack and go to the leeward side of your boat and tighten all of your lashings on the leeward side of the boat because the wind and the forces are pushing the mast over to that side so they should be looser. Then go on your other tack and tighten the lashings on that other side, the new leeward side, and then go back and forth a few times kind of adjusting them that way. We tried to do that, but I think our boat's just a little too big. We really couldn't get, um, even on the leeward side of the boat, we couldn't get the lashings tight enough by hand using that technique. So we came up with this other technique. The other thing is that we also couldn't hold the amount of tension that we needed in the lashings, just like using our hands and then trying to get the half hitches on that really cinch down and lock off the lashings that uh, Caligo recommends. So we found this technique and we are also gonna be using the frapping knot in the middle of these lashings to hold the tension while we wrap up uh, the tail. So yeah, pretty much all we have here is the tail of the lashing is coming up 
and we want to pull this tail nice and tight. Uh, I don't want to use a halyard, I'd rather use our big winch in the back there. So we have this tail redirected through this low friction ring to that back winch there. Now, if we just had that, that winch would be pulling a ton of tension straight out of here and it'd be pulling this whole fork uh, fitting that way. And we want to keep the forces in line here. We want to just only pull this fork fitting straight up in the direction that the shroud is. So what we did was we countered that pull this way by just putting just an, another line on the other side of the low friction ring and that's going up to our uh, just kind of around our front cross beam. Um, that's plenty strong to, to hold the tension, so now this ring can't go this way. Now, if we just had those two things, the ring could still come down, and it'd come down all the way to the bottom here. So we also have to hold that ring up, and what we did was just put a few soft shackles, and we're using that uh, this top piece of their terminator fitting um, to hold that ring up as well. So the ring's actually in a perfect spot. Um, it just stays exactly where it is as we tension this tail, uh, which is awesome. All the loads are directly in line with the shroud, which is great. Now, Sierra, you want to help? I just need you to help me tension real quick. All right, go ahead nice and slow. So one thing that I was pretty surprised about these terminators, because they have each have their, all right, stop for a sec. They each have their own hole uh, for the lashing line, which is uh, like five or six millimeter Dyneema, I think five millimeter, um, to go through. And there's still quite a difference of tension in the tail that we're pulling from and throughout the other lashing lines, which means there's definitely friction through these holes. So what all we have to do while Sierra is tensioning it is kind of pick one of, the, of these lines. I like to pick uh, one of the two middle ones and just kind of pull them tight and that equalizes all that tension throughout all the other lashing lines. So go ahead nice and slow Sierra. And you can really see when I pull and let go, it, stop for a sec, it allows, uh, it allows a lot of